guys, Ken from Ken's Paint Shack back with you again. Um, and this time something a little bit different. Um, I got given some miniatures by Atlantic Miniatures, um, some Aztecs and some World War II. So I, I painted up some Aztecs, so I'm, I've got them all sitting here actually ready to continue with. Um, but this video is a how I paint the skin colour. Um, had a couple of wee goes at it and this is what I've come up with um, and I'm hoping that you like it. Um, it is a full step by step all the way kind of through the skin and then I kind of flicked a bit on the end where you, if you want to keep watching um, some of the other um, colours that I've, I've used to do the wood and um, hair and, and the, some of the one of the um, like the basic cloth as well but um, yeah so this, is, this bit's not going to be long but I thought you know sometimes you get a video where it's like there you go and you can't actually see how people have um, like painted the skin like the chest and, and, and kind of all the ribs and bits and pieces like that and legs so I've kind of I've, I've doubled the speed so if you want to slow it down to like actual speed you can but um, I've doubled the speed of the, the painting part so it's not quite as long it's about 20 odd minutes still couple of pictures at the end, a couple of pictures at the beginning. Um, I haven't um, shown how I put the wash on because um, the wash is at the end is the flesh wash and you just you just wash the flesh and then you um, if you you can matte spray it or you can put on a matte a varnish with, with your paintbrush um, and, um, and just kind of dull it all back down again but yeah hope you enjoy it let me know what you think at the end if you watch the whole thing or not yeah it is 20 minutes but um, it's one of those ones where if you want to actually see how how I do it and why I do certain directions of paintbrushes and you know with my strokes and different things like that um, it all makes sense in the end so um, I'm about to hop on and put all the words to the video so um, let's see how long that takes me cheers guys take care okay so first up it's uh, shadow flesh 343 and light rust 301 uh, the Panza aces colors and a 50 50 mix um, so here's just a couple of minis that i've actually painted um, with this this is the base color i don't show how i paint this on because it's just the base coat and here's the the second one so we're panzer aces um light rust um three four three zero one and flesh base three four one once again 50 50 mix um and pretty much i always just start with the face it's just where i like to start um, to the chin, the forehead, you'll notice that I kind of leave a wee line around the edges of the mouth, um, the ears, you won't be able to see on that piece. I actually change the miniature, um, once I've done this part I, I, I show a, a different miniature that I was doing at the same time. So you can see with the chest, um, leave little bits at the top there, um, showing through, um, and it looks, I mean, it looks a wee bit messy to start with. But the more, more you layer on, the better it gets. You don't leave much of the original base coat, um, as if you've been painting miniatures for a while, you'll you'll notice that. But you do need to leave um, you do need to leave a little bit. So yeah, just paint, painting in the chest. I mean, and it doesn't matter. You'll go back. What you'll notice with me is that you know some people water their paints right right down. Um, I I water mine down enough. That it flows but I I'm not one of these people I just can't see the point in layering color after color after color um, and if I'm trying to make money off a miniature then there's no way there's no way I can take that much time and actually make any any money so um, it's coming around the neck and so I'll leave a little bit in the in the inside so you see a paint line straight down and then just block that part in Kind of going across ways rather than down on, on that part because that's the way it will go in the end. And and same around um, like the rib area coming coming around. Try and um, try and paint in the direction that the the muscles will be in the end. That's where the painting is bumming. So I usually um, or I'll, I think I'm about to paint. Yep, painting in in the the stomach area. Just leaving. You can see the just leaving edges. I will tidy that up a little bit um, around his chest. I usually paint the knee in before I do the rest of the leg, and then just paint it down and leave it a little bit above the the knee, and then just block that in. Leave a little bit below his bum cheek. 
I, on this one I've done a bit of a line up the front and then I block the foot in and like this is only double speed so you can see I'm actually painting this quite you can paint these quite quickly just leave a little bit of a line there and then block the rest in so all these colors are uh, Villaggio um, colors um, it's pretty much I use majority probably about 99% of my paints are um, most of them are game colors but a few Panzer Aces colors as well um, I just like the way that they flow and I've painted them with them for so many years you just kind of get used to it but um, you know you can find other colors that that will probably do the job just as good Okay, so just a little bit left to do on this guy, just tidying, tidying up, and there's a leg on the inside there at the moment that I still haven't missed, and I think the top of the hand, so you're just catching in there. And behind the arm. Yeah, I think we touch, got to do the fingers. Around there. There we go. The next coat is um, flat uh, flesh base. So you can see, so I, well, I picked, as I said, I picked another colour there, just so you can see the figure a little bit easier without um, the arm across. Um, I am painting the other one at the same time, and you'll see him again later on. So this time we pick out pick out the nose and just parts of the forehead, leaving I leaving a little gap in the middle. Touch the chin. I uh, usually touch just below the nose, and then just down the sides of the cheek there and almost like a in like an upside down L almost you know, on his cheek touch his ear and a little bit like dabble down there okay so now on the chest are oh, we doing under the neck I usually leave a little bit of a gap yet I don't always leave the same gap so the the gap was in there for the dark quite often I won't on some parts I won't do the same but I've got of course up, up there where you really want it to come through Put his oily nipples in and then a line around. So you're going to go right around there and then block it in, but leave like an inner an inner line there you can see. Just trying to get a bit, get a bit of definition uh, to his chest because it's you want to see uh, like layers of it almost. And then just the, the highlights on the top there and the arm. We will be doing another highlight on top of this, so this is you might you might end up going, oh, it's very light and bright for a some of it's uh, in like the Mexican region, but um, when you put the wash on at the end, it's kind of a ready wash, and that will bring them all together. So I I do all the highlights, so I will touch these all again with this uh, like the knuckles and that. So here we just want to. Um, get the muscles in and uh, you can see the strokes uh, were down before and we just want to do the same again there and same on the other side so it's important when you're doing the muscles is from the uh, after you've done the base coat that all the all the brush strokes I think if you take them in the direction that you're going to end um, you get a better you get a better look I mean, hopefully you can see how I'm just doing it. Just leaving a, a different gap down the side there that, than I, I did with the original coat. Just highlighting the muscles and the, the back of the heel. Once again, same on the other leg. I just find it's it, it's very quick and very easy to get a reasonably um, good job done. So you know, you, once you once you get this method down, then you can crank out figures very quickly. Okay, so then we do his back, do it down the side again, or well, not down the side, down the, in the middle, and then we're going out. 
So we don't want to be going down because that's not the way the, the way it looks on a normal body. A bit of highlighting. Well, in some cases a bit, <laughs> quite a bit. Almost, almost done. Let's look at the hands. Done the elbow there, and just down the arms. So it's, you can see that I've done that, that arm and another like highlighted muscles, separated them out, coming down the arm. I mean, I'm not, I'm no, I'm not, I haven't looked at books much and said, oh, this is exactly how it goes. So, um, <laughs> you know, if you look at it, you go, wow, oh, that's not a muscle there. Well, no, I'm sorry, it looks quite good. Okay, so that is our third layer done. And that's the one without the, so that's two layers in. I mean, you could stop two layers in if you want. You could stop three layers in, which is what this is, if you want. That's fine. But I think if you just put one more highlight on, Then we get to this, and this is the flesh base three four one and flat flesh three five five. Now I think I did around about um, seventy five percent flesh base and um, twenty five percent flat flesh. Um, it's not like an exact science for me on this one, so you just just whatever you think you'd like. You want to get a highlight, but you don't want it too strong. Um, so yeah, so once again, just this time we're just touching the very edges of where you think the sun's going to catch. Obviously I did a little bit too much there, there'll be a few times you'll notice that, just touch it with a finger and pull a bit of the paint off. Probably have your own way of doing that. Once again, just a little highlight in there. And you might think, oh far out, you've gone, you've gone a bit bright on there. But we've got to remember we've got a, a wash once again same direction everything going in the same direction there we need the line but just not as much just a little bit there it's almost a slight slight dabbing motion on some of those things I don't not like a line that I'm putting on coming down the arm Starting to get there a little bit there, and then all the knuckles again. Starting to come together. Now I don't do a video with the wash on, as I said in the beginning. So at the end, you'll just see the difference between this and um, and the ones uh, ones with the wash on. So. Um, I mean, you could leave it. I mean, they looked great. It, it, I thought they looked great like this, um, but I just wanted to show what it would look like with the wash, because um, I think it just, I mean, it darkens them up just a little bit and it br brings it a little bit readier, pulls out some of those beginning tones, those base tones um, that, we, that we applied. Um, and I think it just pulls it all together. And when you put some of the lighter, cloths on on them um, I think yeah looks quite cool so we're just about there we're just tidying up some edges just making sure you don't apply too much too too quickly I've used the same the same brush all the way through I believe it was what was it a, um, a zero Two, a two zero or it might have been a three zero. I think it was a three three zero. Uh, so, so there we go. Oh. <laughs> dropped them again. So yep, there they are finished. Well, they don't have to wash on them yet.
So, I mean, I was quite happy with them there, and I wasn't actually 100% sure I was going to stick the wash on, but in the end, I did, and I'm quite happy with the finished product. So, uh, the stone grey um, is what I did as a base coat here. Now, I haven't put the video... I, the video was just getting a bit too long. So, I, what I what I do is I, I paint it round, as you can see it here, and then I put about 25% white in, and then I highlight it, and then I put about 25% white in again, and another highlight... You can see that I've actually got some on this flesh, I had to tidy that up. Um, and then I actually put about 50% white in and just did some very, very slight, slight highlights um, just to finish it off. But um, yeah, if I, if I added it all in, it's, you're just going to be like here for forever. So I've just flicked in a, a, this video here and then later on a, a few other bits and pieces. Um, you can see I've already got a, a coat of the first coat of um, flesh base, uh, which I will show in between the next one on this guy's club. Um, and it's the base coat. So, flesh base medium, flesh tone, sorry, um, 070860. So I think yeah, 860. So that's the that's the colour on his on his club and I use them on the spears are all the same. And then I do um, I do a wash over those as well. So yeah, he's coming along. Yeah, I was probably getting a little bit um, I probably shouldn't have gone too quickly on that guy because um, I had a bit of tidying up to do if I kind of slipped and when you've done all that flesh it's really annoying when you've just got to rework some of the areas you've mucked up. So I quite like using um, the the German beige or the, the stone grey as my base for some, for some of my whites, my off whites um, and then just kind of building, building it up a wee bit. But you know, if you want to, you could be pretty much just go to the end and see the pictures now. If you were just interested in the um, how the flesh was done, uh, because there's no more added to the flesh except for the, the wash, which is showing what it looks like uh, at the very end. Um, so if you do that, I hope you really enjoyed the video. And um, thanks for watching. Please comment um, and hit the like button. But otherwise, you can just see how I've um, how I've actually painted the wood on, on the spear um, and what colour I've used on the hair, what I use on the hair and, and the, um, some other little bits and pieces here. So, for this next bit we use medium flesh, we use um, Citadel um, sh Shade Orange, we use um, what is it? Scale color, intense wood, and we use sepia shade from Game uh, Game Wash. So you can see uh, the medium flesh is obviously dry, and we're putting a mix of about I don't know three drops of the the orange and three drops of the intense wood, and probably about four four or five drops of the the, the sepia, depending on how much you're doing. I did a whole pile, so you can just see that little. Um, I use these uh, milk bottle lids. Um, so I filled that up and I did a whole pile of um, pikemen as well at the same time. But I do I did two coats. So that's the first one. Come come back and then we put a, another. Well, I think this one I was just sucking it off from around the hand. Just got to make sure that it doesn't pull uh, around the hand there. I could have done it before I did the flesh. But here we go. So a second, second coat. Just to darken the wood up a little bit more. You can do a third coat if you want to have really dark wood. But you can see it's just such an easy way um, of doing doing wood. <coughs> I think it was John Barrett that I picked that up off. And um, I do it all the time now. Okay, so I use dark grey for the hair. Um, I'm doing them all with dark hair because I believe they all had dark hair. I'm not quite, and I actually I used it as a um, a first coat on um, well, I think it's a stone or whatever they used. <laughs> I'm not actually that um, up to with all the 
all the stuff with these guys. Um, I, I've downloaded a few pictures just to have a look. Um, I might have a little bit more at the Aztecs and um, might buy some conquistadors and um, find some rules. So um, with the the, uh, the club, I will get some white and, and just slowly add it in and, and just highlight the edges of the, the stone <coughs> there. So we're just about done. Um, there'll be a couple more pictures. You can see see on the the, the, the clothes how it's a bit uh, lighter there now, where I've put some highlights in there. And we're going to do another one around, some bits around here. I was a bit slap happy putting this round, and <laughs> I had to tie it up a little bit afterwards, but it's the same colour, it's just a, a lighter mix there. And we just added a bit of it into the grey and just slightly touched it up, but there's a bit more work I have to do on that yet. As I said, this video is mainly about the skin. I'm just thinking we, we must be getting quite near the end. I think there's this and then I think there's a couple of pictures. So um, yeah, I mean if you if you did like this, uh, let me know um, because um, I intend on doing some other videos. I mean you might prefer it with the ones that just like boom and they're here and then the next, you know, you blink and it shows you the next colors on. I just thought, you know, if you don't see how people paint and you like the end product, so this is with the wash on, the, fl the flesh wash. So it's a Formula P3 flesh wash um, and it's, um, it's really good. I've got it, I bought about five or six bottles of it because I just thought, man, I don't really want to run out of this stuff. So, um, and so yeah, and I used... Um, let me race over here and grab it if I can. I used um, AK Interactive Ultra Varnish Matte over the over the flesh, and I'll probably um, look. I'm probably going to spray it with the matte varnish as well, but it just really dulled it back down again and took um, most of the shine out. <clears throat> so I hope you like it, guys. Take care, and we will catch you again.